where did where did your love for like animals come from? Like, because I know obviously that there's so many things you're passionate about. But like, where did where did this like massive? I know you obviously you know because you were born in South Africa, weren't you originally? Is that right, Zimbabwe? No, which which were we? Which were you born? Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe yeah. Is yeah, that, um, you saw them outside your back door and just suddenly fell in love with them because I know you used to get bullied for walking around with a bird book. Is that right? So I <laughs> you used to have a bird book. Tuck I mean, I, I, when when I read it, when I read what you'd done, right, bird book. I said I've had a few bird books under my arm, but then it turns out <laughs> they were very, very different because you were walking, ticking them off, and I thought well, he's walking around ticking off the birds. What a professional! Then I realised you meant actual it's like ornithology. Isn't <laughs> Part it? Of That's a the right word. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can only apologise, David. I can only apologise. Continue. Um, I, I grew up on a farm in, in the middle of Zimbabwe and I guess I feel really lucky now to have had a grandfather and a, and a, and a dad who were really, like really into birds. Um, and I don't know, as a kid just found them so interesting. Like we had a lot of birds around the farm and, and uh, you'd kind of get to, you'd get to know them, you get to know their calls. Um, you know, some would migrate down in summer, so you'd be really excited for them to to start arriving. Uh, and yeah, you'd be <laughs> you'd be trying to build up a bit of a list of things that you'd seen, and um, yeah, copped a fair bit of shit from my cousins and um, and my brothers at times. But I don't know, just found it interesting, so did it. Um, and I guess that's kind of something that I've. I don't know, it has been a bit of a, not an, not an escape, but I guess an, another somewhere else where I can, I've been able to get away from rugby um, and put my energy into other things. And I've, I've found that really helpful. Um, I think with, with, with my personality, I can get like pretty consumed about, about something. And I, I know early on in my, career when I was at the Western Force. Um, uh, yeah, it was sort of, I guess it's, it's, it's what's necessary to, to get to that, that point, that kind of obsession, um, whether it's, you know, gym skills, all those, you know, you're, you're 24 seven, you're kind of just thinking about rugby, living, breathing it. Uh, but realized in my early twenties, like that, it's not sustainable. And I, I didn't want that to be, my entire life I certainly enjoyed a lot about it but it it I think it takes a toll both on yourself and then certainly on the people on the people around you family and friends um as an immigrant moving to Australia um and sort of getting to know the 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 country here and kind of some of the wildlife it's uh, it's a pretty incredible place um particularly the bird life like it's it's uh, it's, it's it's special um it's hard not to uh, not to fall in love with her over here. So I've got a confession to make, right? Nobody knows. They know, everyone knows that I'm a bit obsessed with like diggers, you know, you know, diggers, excavators, JCBs. Oh yeah, like a bobcat. Uh, yeah, exactly like a bobcat. Yeah, yeah, right. So I had, I had in, in the UK, they had these books called I Spy, and they were I Spy, like I Spy tractors, I Spy diggers. You had a bird book. I used to have uh, an I Spy, like the construction machinery and you drive on the motorway, sit in the back of the car, you'd be like, oh, have you seen this? Please take it off. So <laughs> <laughs> but you're into nature. I was into And with that, our last four <laughs> listeners leave the building. 